Okay, you guys. <laughs> so, craziest thing happened. Um, we had an experience with a guest uh, where she like trashed the tent and like not in the way that you would think, like where it's obvious, but like in a sneaky way. Um, and then she also stole a bunch of stuff. And I want to kind of tell you guys a little bit about this because it reminds me a little bit. Like, remember when we rented out the motorhome? I remember when we rented out the motorhome and like those people like we well for one we first we thought they were stealing our motorhome because like they said that they were going to be back and then like they never showed up and we're like waiting around and they're like oh yeah we're we're here and then we went there and they weren't there and we're like oh my god these people <laughs> stole our rv that we rented it out to and then they ended up like trashing it but anyway this this story is a little bit different so um we so for those of you guys that have no idea or maybe are brand new here we own something called the glamping camp and it is right now it's three furnished like really cool safari tents it has like air conditioning a fridge it has like king beds that are super comfortable just maybe just as comfortable as like the one in your house maybe even more comfortable um and yeah it's just like super nice it's like camping but like glamorous camping which is why we call it glamping and yeah anyway there is a cleaning fee right so like right now the the prices range anywhere from like 110 dollars a night up to i don't know maybe the highest i've seen it was like 134 maybe on like um days that i don't know we have the, we have it on like an uh automated program i guess or like software that it like adjusts the price um, based off of like things that are going on in the area. So if there's like a big event coming up, they'll raise the price, um, or like holidays, stuff like that. So basically it just makes it like very hands off for us. Like we don't do the pricing, like we have a software do it for us. Uh, so it makes it fair and everything else. Um, especially it also takes into account other Airbnbs and stuff like in our area. So, um, I had a lady and I had, sorry, I have like a piece of hair that's like coming in my face. So we, we've had a few people that have come and stayed and asked for like discounts or whatever. And, um, I don't know if you guys know who Rob Bilt is on YouTube, but I watch his channel cause he does a lot of like Airbnb stuff. And he basically says like, don't ever give discounts out because those are the people that like destroy your stuff or, um, you know, like give really bad reviews and they're like the most difficult, like high maintenance people, um, in his experience. And he's been doing this for a really long time. So I kind of just like trust him. Anyway, we had a lady, um, that messaged us and she had booked a tent, um, for one night and she wanted to know how many people she could bring to the camp like that we have well it's not really like a traditional campground right like this is it's our property and like we have an area that we put that's in a really pretty area hey sweetheart i'm talking to my friends you want to hang out <laughs> we have like this this really pretty area of our property that we've turned into like a mini camp right um with our like little safari tents so it's not like a big place where people would come bring their motor home or like you know extra tents to come stay like that's not what we are we're not like a camp yeah oh yes no wants me to make her a campground fire um like felt stuffy she has been wanting those for a while and i told her i would make her one yes i will sew it for you look i have my sewing machine i'm gonna sew it for you okay i have some work to do today and then i'm gonna sew it for you i promise Daddy to do it. Oh, you want daddy to sew? Daddy, do you want to sew? <laughs> um, I'm telling my friends a funny story. Well, it's not really funny. <laughs> but anyway, so this lady um, books a tent. She starts asking all these questions, like how many people. I try to explain to her, like, it's not that type of campground, you know, like if you want to bring a friend, that's fine. Um, but like, you can only have two cars, like, per tent. Because um, that's all we have room for. Yes, honey. Yes, honey, I'm gonna sew it, but you have to give me a minute, okay? Can you go eat your tablet for me for a second and tell me which one your favorite show is on your tablet? Please, just for a minute. You're scared, okay. Um, so, ouch, 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 ouch. That hurts, honey. Okay, okay, you can sit on my lap, come here. Um, so we, so then she says, like, um, can you refund or reimburse the cleaning fee? And, what, honey? I don't 
I understand, and we said we're going to, but you have to give us five minutes, okay? And then we'll do it. You have to wait, okay? Can you wait for me to be patient? Anyway, I'm like, um, no, like, you know, we have a cleaning fee because there's a cleaner that comes in, AKA I'm the cleaner, you know? But like, I don't clean for free. All right, let me, let me pause this and. I'm sorry, we have like such a hard time with Snowy and like, it's really rough because. <laughs> Take her to go feed the chickens. I've spent all morning with her, like all morning, all night with her. She, it sounds like she's very like a spoiled brat is like what it looks like for someone that does not know that she suffers with severe anxiety and mental illness. And so like when she wants something and she doesn't get it, um, it, it dysregulates her, um, system uh and makes her so upset like physically and she doesn't know how to control her emotions um and it becomes like it fucks up our whole day <laughs> like it's it's really bad um i don't know like what better way to explain it or sugarcoat it it's just the way that it is um and unfortunately like we can't just completely cater to her 120 percent every day because i have to work you know like i have coaching calls today um and you know i can't have her screaming in here like it's very unprofessional while i'm trying to work so I need Travis to help me. So what I'll do is I'll tell him like, take her outside, have her go play with the chickens, try to distract her basically from her feelings um, and like try to re-regulate her nervous system. Anyway, I'm off track, but I wanted to tell you guys this story because it's, um, it's really crazy. So she asked for a discount on her, not a discount, sorry. She asked to be reimbursed or basically not pay for the cleaning fee. Um, and I said, sorry, like we have a cleaner comes in, like comes in to clean and they need to be paid for their time. So we can't really, um, you know, reimburse that fee. Like we have to wash your sheets. Like all of that takes time. And you know, if like I had done something wrong or like something was messed up during their stay or broken during their stay, I would absolutely be like, I will take the cleaning fee off because I'm the cleaner. But like, I also just don't think it's fair just because I'm also the owner and the cleaner that I don't get compensated for my time because that's time away from my kids. Like that I'm, you know, working and doing like manual physical labor that's like, it's hot, you know, I'm out there scrubbing and, you know, I work really hard and I just feel like, I should be paid as the cleaner, you know, if I'm cleaning the tents myself. So I would never expect someone else to clean tents for free. So why should I, you know, anyway, I don't feel like I need to like defend myself of why I feel like I should be clean or compensated for cleaning the tents. But um, anyway, I basically told her like, no, I'm sorry. Like we can't reimburse the cleaning fee. And um, I think she was super pissed about that. And I did not know this because she was just like, you know, okay, fine. Then she like, um, that she was one of the most difficult people that we've had. I've had one other person that was just as difficult, but um, she basically like would call in and say like, I need to change my dates. And so we would change her dates. And then the next day she would call and say like, okay, I just, I need to change my dates again. And like, no joke. She, within a week, t week's time, I think she had changed her dates like five times. And I don't know, cause I'm still learning and I'm new to this, like what the policy should be on how many times you can change the date before we start having to charge. Because for one, like that admin time, like it takes a long time for me to go in and like change the date. And then not only that, but like if someone's trying to book and that date is blocked off, like, she, you know, she's blocking off dates that other, somebody else could have booked during that time. And so like, it kind of sucks as like a business owner or a small business owner, because like now no one is going to be able to book during that date. Maybe that would have. And so we lose out on money that way. So like that was kind of sucky. And I don't think people realize like 
for small like Airbnb businesses, I think it matters. I think big corporations like Hilton and like Marriott and stuff like it doesn't matter as much because it's like a huge corporation but like for little baby businesses like mine doing that can really hurt us you know um financially so that was just kind of like a hard thing that we had to deal with with her anyway then once she got to the campground she was so demanding like she was like i'm out of propane send somebody out now to for, to give me a new propane and like first of all like we <laughs> We provide propane for their cooking complimentary, right? It's expensive for us to do that um, because propane's not cheap. And like we give that to them as part of their thing um, or as part of their stay, but we only give them one bottle of propane. Like if they go through that, then like they're required to like buy more of their own, you know? And the problem is, is that I don't have these things in writing. And so it's my mistake. Again, I'm new at this. I'm learning as I go. So it, I'm glad that things, that these things are happening. And I always try to find like the good in everything. So I'm like, even though we had this like bad customer or whatever, I, I'm kind of grateful for it because I am learning a lot of things that maybe I wouldn't have otherwise of you know like as opposed to like someone super nice stayed and like you know didn't complain about anything or we didn't have these issues with you know so i'm glad that they came up like so that i can address them i was trying to hear if that's no screaming or if it's the tv i think they left the tv on i need to go turn that off but anyway so that was how she was when she was here and we didn't want to like um upset her any more than she was already upset because then she like called she had like called my phone i don't know how she got my phone number she called my phone and was like um very angry and wanted to talk to the manager and like you know all these things and um little did she know that like i am the manager the owner the cleaner <laughs> the maintenance like i am a one woman show over here at this camp so like you know it's just funny like when she was like i want to speak with a manager um and you know i ended up giving her a discount because um she wanted to book she originally had booked on a friday and the dates on a friday to book are cheaper than on a saturday to to book and again this is all automated software stuff where like the the, the rates fluctuate um and so when I told her, like, if she changed her dates, that the fee was going to be higher, she said, that's fine. I don't care. And so I was like, okay. And it was like, you know, $20 more or something like that, 15 or $20 more. Well, then I get a call from her saying, why are you charging me extra? Um, you know, or whatever. And I was like, well, because the dates are more expensive for you to stay on a Saturday. And she's like, well, I told you I wanted to stay on the Friday. I mean, like, this is like, <laughs> no joke this is what i was dealing with and i was like i literally have a voicemail from you saying that you wanted to switch from friday to saturday she's like but i changed my mind and i told you that and i was like oh my gosh it was so like crazy so i'm like okay i will refund you the extra charge and give you a discount for that date and i'll just keep you on a saturday if that's the date you want she's like okay yeah that's what i want so i was like all right so i thought we were good you know <laughs> then when she was here she was a nightmare she just like was blowing up my phone the whole time like wanting to ask a million questions that were like all on on the website in the manuals like you know um and then when it came time well and she brought a friend and like an extra um extra car and an extra friend which is fine like I, I didn't care the friend wasn't staying the night whatever that i don't care about that as long as like you know it's only two cars um because we can get in trouble from like the fire department and also the county like if we have um, more capacity than we're like allowed to have if that makes sense so that's why we have those like rules in place um but during this time because it was a weekend the other two tents were booked which i'm so grateful for i'm like ah all our tents were booked like at once and I was just like so proud you know um because I've worked so hard on this and I'm just like I am really proud of it and so to like have a whole weekend booked with all the tents I was like I made it <laughs> um because you know for our business it's mainly just like weekends that people come to stay it's not very often that people come to stay during the week uh we do have people come to stay like you know during the week but not as often so anyway then we had gotten a complaint from a guest that was 
next to her tent saying that is there a curfew the people next to us are very loud and playing music and i can't sleep even with the earplugs provided because we provide earplugs for everybody just as like a courteous thing and um i was like i am so sorry like there most definitely is a curfew like you know this was like 12 30 in the morning or something it was really late you know and like i was like i'm so sorry um you know can you let me know which tent it is so that i can let them know that they need to be quiet well she ne the tent that complained never got back to me she ended up falling asleep and letting me know in the morning like oh i'm so sorry i fell asleep um so that was good because then anyway I knew that they were the party tent and I will tell you why because I the after they left I had gone in and I had noticed that they put like sodas in the freezer and they exploded I don't know if they did that on purpose or if it just was an accident but like they didn't clean it so like I was cleaning this whole like sticky soda explosion in the freezer which took a very long time i don't know if you've ever had that happen before in your freezer but it's like everything freezes and so it takes a long time to like defrost it and get it out anyway so that was the first thing that i noticed then i noticed when i was taking the trash out that there was a bunch of alcohol like hard alcohol and like beer and just like for two girls that by the way this woman was in her 50s like <laughs> like her late 50s i was not expecting her to be like the party one because we also had like a younger couple staying and I thought maybe were they the ones that were partying, but they weren't. Um, it was the old lady, uh, or sorry, she's not old, <laughs> older lady, you know, not like the younger couple that I would assume would be the party people. That's why you never make assumptions about people. Don't judge a book by its cover. Um, anyway, this 50 year old was wild apparently because she had a crazy night and, um, <sighs> so then as i'm in there i'm noticing things are missing like random things right so like the i in each tent i provide olive oil salt and pepper cutting boards silverware like all the silverware all the bowls um plates you know like dinner plates salad plates um wine openers um potato peelers scissors um i mean like everything that you could imagine like most of those things are in there for like you know people to use and enjoy um so that they don't have to bring their own stuff and they're able to cook and have a nice time and things that i bought were like good quality you know like and this stuff was like not from the dollar store um you know i have like brookstone scissors and like because i want it to be like you know it's glamping it's glamorous it's supposed to be that experience and i want it to be that experience for everybody that stays i want them i like to my motto is like treat everybody like a celebrity that comes to stay like i want them to feel like they're very important and we care and we are at their beck and call and you know and i think we've done a really good job of that for like customer service um and i want to keep that going anyway so that's why you know they say in customer service and like we're in the hospitality business like for a customer service, like the customer is always right, right? Like that's the motto. And so I have to keep telling myself like, just do what they say, just do what they say to make them happy. So that's like what I do. So even though like they only got one propane, I like went and gave them another one, you know? Um, and again, these are policies. I need to just write these things out so people know that way I'm like, well, our policy, like going forward, I'll be like, our policy is that we only have, we only provide one propane per tent. So, um, you know, if you are, uh, think that you're gonna need more you know make sure to bring some and i'll let people know ahead of time so that they can prepare for that but again we're still new and learning um so then i notice that there is a pin mark like on the duvet cover and i'm like oh man that sucks because like i definitely don't know how to get that out you know and then i notice that there is also another pin mark on the sheet and then I noticed there's another one on the fitted sheet and then on each pillow. So like literally this chick, I think was so mad that I charged her a cleaning fee that she was like, oh, I'm gonna make sure that I get my money's worth for this cleaning fee. So like she uh, made an explosion in the freezer. The fridge was disgusting. Like she left stuff spilled and like messy. Again, she was only there for one night. So it's like to make a big mess like this in one night is like, <laughs> it felt very intentional that she did this and then like 
a, like a pin mark on like the duvet like okay i can see how that could be an accident but then like on each piece of like on each piece of the linens like that are nice linens i did spray and wash i did bleach i mean like it was it is so hard to get pin mark out and i did not know this i just figured like that sucks like what a b-i-t-c-h you know and like um that's what i was thinking when i saw this and then i was like man like really and then when i was trying to clean it out i was having a really hard time and i was like telling travis like do you know how to get pin out i'm like googling how to get pin out of white linens like it was really hard. Um, ended up having to buy all new sheets. I don't know if you guys have any special magic tricks. Like I tried it all. I tried the hairspray. I tried the bleach. I tried the um, spray and wash. For, I don't know what pen she used. It just looked like a regular ball, ballpoint pen. But like she must have known that that's hard to get out because she literally put it on each piece. So I had to buy all new stuff. Um, she stole the olive oil. Um, she stole all of our plates like all of our dinner plates, all of our salad plates. Um, what else did she steal that was so like random? And like, I was like, what? Like, did she really take that? There were other things that I ended up noticing. Cause like I started noticing all these, oh shit. Okay, so like, <laughs> this is another thing. So I give everybody a welcome basket, like when they come to stay with us and in the welcome basket, there's like um, rolled up, um, I'll try to put a picture in here so you guys get an idea of what it looks like but like rolled up um like washcloths you know for them to use eye mask um earplugs i put in like a little glass jar of like um cotton balls and q-tips um what else do i put i always try to add in that just shut off sorry i don't know where it shut off but like i always try to add in like a little goodie for each person and for her even though she was very wrong the whole time. I tried to remember, like, Shannon, this is a new business. Like, you want to do really well. Um, you know, just make her happy, make her happy. So, like, I even gave her, like, brand new makeup that, like, I had been saving for, like, gifts or whatever for people. And I had put in brand new makeup for her and with a little handwritten note that says, like, hi, thank you so much for staying with us. I'm so sorry for, like, the confusion. I hope you have a great stay. Here's a little extra added gift for you um, as an apology. You know, like, I went, like, that far and she was still horrible. And, like, um, I, I try to give little extra like um, makeup goodies to girls that I know are staying um, like because I get like PR still so like and stuff that like I'm not all going to be able to use I usually will donate to women's shelters but like there's not a very close one here for me to drive every time so I just give it to our guests um, and save it for like friends and family or whatever but like uh, those are just little things that we do so there's some stuff in that gift basket that like obviously stays with the camp and then some stuff that you kind of know common sense that you take so like you know little toiletry things you know you can take but like you don't take the whole basket like you don't take the um glass jar that houses like you know the things like just if you went to a hotel would you take the glass jar that has like the cotton balls and the q-tips in it like i wouldn't i would know that's part of the hotel property like i wouldn't take that um she took so many things that like were obvious she took the fucking fire extinguisher i'm like who takes a fire extinguisher like and it's kind of annoying because like the amount of stuff that she took like actually added up to a lot of money um she took like the expensive scissors she took the wine opener like just all kinds of little shit she took and you're probably like shannon like you have their credit card on file just charge them for those things and you're right i need to do that i definitely need to do that because it's just not right that's not cool and like but the problem is is like i did not have an inventory list. i know everything that's in those tents because i literally like did everything myself i bought stuff i helped decorate everything like um I go in there and I clean everything so like I know what's in there <sighs> um and so I but I didn't have like a written inventory list now I do so that's another thing I learned from this bad experience but um I also like need to have a fee and I'm going to put this like in the, the manuals um and if you guys have better ideas for me let me know but like I'm gonna put in the manuals 
that are in the tent they're basically just like a little notebook <clears throat> that has like rules and like best places to eat in the area like emergency phone numbers stuff like that uh, i'm gonna put in there an inventory list of everything that's in the tent and i'm gonna put the cost if things uh, like if they take something so like and and i kind of think that's cool because like say for instance um we have like little spa uh things that like spa sounds you know that are by the um that are on the nightstand so like if they want to listen to like crashing waves at night or like the forest or something like they can have that say for instance they really loved it and they wanted it i i wanted to be able to have like a qr code where they can go to like my amazon storefront and they can literally just click a button and buy it um so i think that's like what i'm gonna do but i was gonna say like if it's taken you know like if they steal it um then this is the cost for that item um if it's removed from the tent uh just like at hotels like you know how they started adding fees like if you take the robes or the towels it's like you're gonna be charged like 30 dollars a towel or something they up it right like it obviously the towel maybe is not 30 dollars or didn't cost the hotel 30 dollars but it, they're gonna charge you 30 dollars for going through having to buy new ones because it's gonna you know it's a pain in the ass so anyway that's kind of like my story of the chick that like trashed my tent and I bet you she was probably waiting for like a response from me saying like we're charging your credit card for all the things that you took and for the damage that you did to the tent and the linens that we have to replace. I bet you she was waiting for that, but I did not do it because I am just starting out. I don't want to have any issues with people. I'm too nice. I know that people tell me that all the time and they're right and I just can't help it. And I have and I tell myself this is <laughs> this is why I'm too nice. Cause I tell myself like as a business owner, I should have charged your credit card and for the damages and the theft because that's just the business thing that you do. But as the human being I am, I'm thinking she must be going through a really like difficult time right now to be doing these things. She was drinking. Maybe she just broke up with her husband. Like maybe she just got a divorce. Maybe she, her mom just died. Like we don't know people's situations and every single one of us is going through something hard and not all of us know how to cope properly with things. And so we take it out on other people. And I might've been the person that she needed to take out whatever it is that she's going through that she's having a hard time with. Um, and I just happen to be the person that she needed to take that out on and I hope that she feels better after doing those things Honestly, I don't I personally would not feel good after doing that Some people they like to destroy things that makes them feel better like snowy, you know <laughs> um, For me, I would feel really shitty to do that to somebody but um, you know again, we're all different We all think differently and so I just wish her the best and I hope that she has a happy rest of her life and that she doesn't do that to anybody else. And I have learned from that experience immensely. So I actually thank her for doing those things because it made me learn and grow as a business owner. So that is kind of the crazy story of what has happened recently with our tent. little story time for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you guys are in the hospitality industry or have any experience or just any advice for me on something that I can do to kind of help protect our little baby business um, from, you know, people in the future that might do things that aren't so friendly or nice. Um, because you know i can afford to do that one time but i can't afford to do that a lot you know like if there's a lot of people doing that stuff like i would go out of business you know so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this thanks again for being here thanks for watching i'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and i hope to see you in my next video Mwah.